The trouble with smart devices is that they don't stay smart for very long. After a couple of years, the processor and the memory in your TV or any other smart device just gets slower over time. Uh, that's why Intel created the Compute Card. It's a small credit card sized device that basically has everything uh, that you would need to create a computer right inside it. So it has a CPU, it has storage, it has networking. You just stick it into something like a TV or a refrigerator and it gives it smart capabilities. And the idea is that after a couple of years, you'll be able to upgrade your device down the line without replacing the actual host device. At Computex today, we saw the first couple devices uh, being worked on by manufacturers, and they range from things like a cash register to all-in-one PCs, and that's actually a pretty interesting use of it because uh, all-in-one PCs, they're great for a desktop replacement type device, but you can never really upgrade them. The computer card basically makes that possible. We also saw it being used in a couple other types of devices too. There's a media player that just has this computer card sticking in the front. Foxconn created a couple prototype devices to show off what you could do with it, like an ultra-thin two-in-one device, or even a very solid heavy-duty computer that could be used in high heat environments. It looks like a giant heat sink. The compute card is really useful for PCs like all-in-ones, which have all their hardware integrated and aren't really easy to upgrade. The compute card also really enables some new types of ideas around all-in-ones. One concept we saw uses a monitor stand to plug into the card, and you just add your own monitor, and you could upgrade it all down the line. That's really interesting, and it could be a lot more useful to people than a standard all-in-one. There are also some really interesting education uses, too. It could be put into a Chromebook-like laptop that kids could destroy easily, but not ruin the computing components. And students can also take the compute card, plug it into Intelligent Display, bring it to another laptop at home. Basically. It's all about the idea of modular computing. For the past couple of years, device makers have been putting computing components inside of their gadgets, but having it contained in a single card like this just makes upgrading uh, down the line so much easier for consumers. It's a good way to get more money from consumers, but it's also a good thing for consumers because it means your gadgets stay faster over time. While it's a great idea, there are still some potential issues around the compute card. It's kind of useless if not everybody adopts it, and there's also the potential worry for Intel to change the standard down the line. Right now, the company says they expect this current version of the compute card to last for around 10 years, uh, and it could change over time as well. The actual hardware is built with USB-C and a couple standard ports, but there's also some room for additional pins to add future standards down the line. Intel says the compute card products will start rolling out in August, but it's really up to the individual manufacturers to determine when they get those devices out. For more about Computex 2017, check out Engadget.com.